Can you please make him welcome, Mr. Charlie Pickering? Hello. Thank you very much. I, uh, I turned 30 recently. Uh, I didn't feel old until two days later I hurt my back. And my dad thought that was hilarious. Because when I was 10, my dad once sneezed so hard that he threw his neck out for a week. And I was like, ha, you are so old. Yeah, I turned 30, two days later, hurt my back, and he laughed and laughed, laughed so hard, hurt his neck. Karma, old man. <laughs> so the problem is that I, I can't go to the gym at the moment. Oh, yeah, I go to the gym. Check that out. Uh, <laughs> now, I, <laughs> yes, that was patronising. Um, <laughs> See, I've never really worried that much about my body. I, I think that women probably worry more than men about their bodies. Uh, I think that's largely because of the magazines that women read. Okay, is it just me or are women's magazines designed entirely to make women feel bad about themselves? Is that pretty much it? Yeah, yeah, the women are going, amen, sister, right on. And the guys are just going, this is an Oprah, dickhead, tell some jokes. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'll tell you what I mean, though. I was reading Cosmopolitan a couple of months ago. And they had an article. The article was 409 beauty tricks. Nobody needs 409 beauty tricks. And if you do... <laughs> I'm thinking maybe you're beyond help. I, uh... <laughs> but the thing is, women's magazines, they, they prey on women's insecurity to sell more copies. Men's magazines, completely different. They just pander to the male ego, don't they? Like, Ralph magazine always has articles like, hot sluts and how they want you. <laughs> yes, you, Davo, the overweight electrician and sexual underperformer. <laughs> they are hot for your bad sex. <laughs> like, FHM would never have 409 beauty tricks. FHM would have 409 ways to trick her into a threesome. <laughs> Trick number one, oh, come on, it's my birthday. <laughs> Trick number two, oh, come on, it's your birthday. <laughs> but the thing about these magazines, right, all they're doing is they're playing on our weaknesses, and I don't think we should play by their rules. I think for a month, we should all swap. I think for a month, men should read Cosmo, women should read FHM. Think about it, at the end of that month, men would be less egotistical, more open about their feelings. Women would be less self-conscious, more open-minded about threesomes. <laughs> Circle of life, Hakuna Matata, oh, what a wonderful world. Who's with me? Come on! <laughs> My name's Charlie Pickering. Thank you very much. Enjoy your night. <laughs>